Hey Defenders, welcome back to our channel. So right now what we are going to be seeing is Web Hacking Challenge number 8. In Web Hacking Challenge number 8, unlike the previous challenges, it's totally different. And this is actually not a complicated challenge. In fact, I was telling you, right? So the complexity on the first challenge is very easy compared to the complexity on the 100th challenge. As we progress on the challenges, the complexity becomes tougher and tougher and you learn something uh, different, right? Here in this particular case on challenge number 8, it is unlike the previous challenges, it's totally new challenge, but apparently uh, I would not say it is more complicated than the previous one. In fact, if you ask me, I would say it's a lot more easier than the previous challenge. So let us see what this particular challenge holds for us, right? Okay, it says, Vinod Sendhil comes across a beautiful painting in the caves. He has to look at it carefully for it to reveal the answer. Okay, this is the question. And this question holds five points for us and uh, using the hint again reduces one point. And there is a file called the bar.png. Okay, PNG, it already clearly tells us it's an image file, right? So let me click on this one. Ready, beautiful. Wow, it's a straightforward uh, challenge, right? There's nothing complicated and it's just a QR code. And let me tell you why this particular challenge. This uh, challenge was created for people for whom it does not really strike immediately looking at a barcode that they have to use some kind of a scanner app to scan it, right? That is exactly why this was created, to give them awareness that this kind of images are usually to be scanned either online or through mobile applications, right? So let me use online tool. I search for online QR scanner. I, yeah, this is... Oh, I copy this, lovely. What is it saying? When I scan this particular barcode, this is the text I get. It says, which road name is now called Abdul Kalam Road? This is a question, right? If you saw, most of the questions, right, as a challenge are around Indian mythology, right? Everything is around Indian mythology just to make it a little more interesting and give it a feel of a larger storyline, right? And if you see this, most of the things are happening in and around Calcutta. If you saw the storyline properly, right? Okay, I search this. Okay, okay. Delhi is Aurangzeeb. Abdul Kalam Road. Okay. See this? Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Road was earlier called Aurangzeeb Road. Aurangzeeb Road, right? So let me copy Aurangzeeb. I am going here, trying this out. See, it was very straightforward, right? So, what do we learn from this? Here, what we learn is once you see a, the barcode, you you have to understand that it, it is a challenge or it's a level where you have to scan. And there is something that I would suggest you, please do not use a mobile application to scan it directly because there are certain codes which could be triggered on a mobile phone. For example, you can trigger a USSD code by just putting a QR code. Once you scan it, it can actually, in fact, format your phones. So, please don't use uh, applications like mobile applications to do it unless you are pretty sure it is from uh, Paytm, Pay You Money, GPay, etc. You know, from trusted sources. If you are not, please do not do that. Please do not do that, right? Instead, use tools like these, uh, I mean, online tools where you can just upload this, this as a file there and you get an online response back with which you can actually do that, right? So this was a very simple but it very interesting and intriguing challenge where uh, we actually understood this challenge can be cleared by answering a question which is hidden as a part of the barcode, right? Hope you all learned something from this. In case you think someone else likes or loves this kind of a content, consider sharing and subscribing. Thank you.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity.